I like VP's lineup in this game. I'm getting a, a reverse caster's <laughs> curse <laughs> he's kind trying. of vibe he's from trying his here. He's, oh, he's trying to go a few and he's going to have a rough time because of it, but... The aggressive dual lane coming in we saw from Virtus Pro the other day. We'll have to do this into an Elder Titan in the top lane. And then bottom lane, Yang might get a little bit run at by Ramsey's on the Juggernaut at the start of this game as well. Should be okay down bottom though, but this mid lane is what I really want to see. How is the uh, Gyrocopter going to manage to come back in the last step department when he just gets feebled over and over? And then once Freeze picks up some levels too, they can easily pressure the Gyrocopter. It's not like anything can really help him, you know? He's screwed here in terms of last hits. Remember, he can rely on those stack camps that we've seen previously from Gyrocopters. The top lane already, a lot of damage being done by both of the supports. Roger trying to man fight Fade, who has plus 68 damage. Asha, he's got the tree grab, so he has no real burst potential with the avalanche of the, the, uh, the toss. Meanwhile, they'll get the kill bottom. The spin comes in solo, the thunder strike. And it's Yang dropped down first and foremost, and they'll get first blood in this first game of the Grand Finals. Very nice. It's extremely huge being able to kill the Brewmaster in that lane. They're going to go top. The Snowball coming in. They've got the Astral. A couple more auto attacks. The Ice Shards. They bring down Silar. Wow. That's even better for Virtus Pro. And they're looking for more. They might trade Roger. He's going to use the Fairy Fire. Face still stopping him down with the Briefcase, but it's not enough to get the kill. The Sal comes out. There's the Toss. Pasha. A couple more auto attacks might do what they should have. Not enough mana for the Ice Shards available. Pasha still has a little bit more in the tank. He's level two. He's already used the Toss. He's got the Tree Grab. He bot. might throw the Tree but now Salar comes back into the loose beam, toss back from Salar. Oh. The tree toss as well, and Basha <laughs> asserting his dominance. It's for VP that they managed to kill Yang's Brewmaster down bottom because the uh, supports on the side of EGA Thunder can't really afford to help in that lane. You know, they need to secure Luna's farm. It's a Tusk and Tiny, tons of aggression coming out from that lane, and they really need to worry about that. Speaking of the aggression, DDC getting run at by Roger, but now he's the one in trouble. Lucian Beat coming at the last auto attack, they get off the avalanche, will not save his life though, and now Pasha getting chased down. I don't know if they can get this kill. DDC is getting kind of close. They have the Lucent Beam. A couple more auto attacks. This Spirited might two. dive the tower. They have the toss available to stomp coming in, but he will not be able to avoid it. They're going to look for the kill. One more auto attack. The Lucent Beam, the brain tap it there from DDC. A lot of aggression in this top lane. Man fight central. The snowball coming in. Ryder needs one more auto attack, and he will find it. So he does get the trade. A bloodbath, and Freeze has to run. Roger looking for a DDC, but Freeze might be the target they're looking for. The Nightmare comes in, they want to find more, but he doppelgangers down to the low ground. Still, they will keep no one safe. The Ice Shards almost hitting, and Freeze just able to slip away. So, so close. Under the cover of Darkness, the spin onto the bottom lane. Yang getting caught out the Thunder Strike, the last auto attack, and Ramses gets the kill. The bottom lane getting hit up, but they used the spin. The TP was coming, it was actually canceled. Uh, there was going to be some help for Yang, but he's still actually having a pretty tough time. I think both off are kind of struggling at this point, Brax. Yeah, Pasha, he can't really get close to the creeps anymore, but he's doing all right now. They getting run down. The Rocket Barrage is a lot of damage. It's going to be another kill, and now Freeze trying to turn into Roger. He has another Spirit Lance in two seconds, but he still can't find that kill, and now no one will be able to get away just fine with five launch charges to boot him. And then, of course, Tiny's picking up more levels, so then it's going to be even more dangerous for the Luna to stay in front, especially when Roger rotates in. And they can make moves in every lane. Look at this. Omni slash Yang dead again. Ramsey's just the long enough there. So that will get dewarded. That's their second deward in a row for VGJ Thunder. A big part of the reason Virtus Pro have been so dominant in this year in the tournament, especially against Optic yesterday, was the fact that they were able to have that vision advantage. And now that's not happening in the early stages of the game as VGJ Thunder are denying them. The toss though from Pasha. Look at that. Now fade in trouble. The snowball. The nightmare will not save him. The tree toss comes in from Pasha. Now Siler looking for it. He comes. He will find it. This is a lot of damage. He's trying to fall, but he turns for Pasha instead. And this might be two kills. Roger will go for the TP. They might have a Lucent Beam available, but it will be enough without it to get the kill. It's going to be two going for... See Luna, I always imagine, oh, Luna's got fantastic late game. You know, you don't really have to worry about that. You can still be proactive and group up in the mid game to knock down some of these towers and play off the Lunar Blessing, but Rams is farming fantastically, so is no one top of the network charts. They are doing really well for this Virtus Pro. The, the cores on this team are just insane in what they can accomplish. They found Yang again. He's still only level 5. Ramses is no Omni Slash. The Glimpse is going to come back, though. They've got the spin. The clap will come in a little bit too late. They've got the Thunder Strike. This should be another kill unless he can juke it. Thunder Strike doing a little bit more damage. They won't be able to finish him off. Now the call down coming in. Here's the Luna. They want this kill on the side of the Rocket Barrage. They've got the Homing Missile. He's pretty fast, though. One more auto attack, or maybe the Homing Missile might do the job. He will stick up. He will fairy fire. Ramses just needs one auto attack, and he will find it. And they might find Yang as well. No one is in there. He has a double damage. The spin comes out. He sees the trouble. They're dying out of the tower. It's a double kill for him. He's in a dominating spree. VGJ Thunder are feeding under their tier one and freeze. He needs to be careful that he doesn't do this.
can't believe it's a 3k goal lead at nine and a half minutes. That's insane. It is a pretty big lead for Virtus Pro. They're working on treads for Pasha, Ramses, and no one have complete free farm with both of them being at the top of the network charts. Pasha actually in trouble in the top lane. The split will come out though. They just get level six on the Brewmaster. This might be a nice free kill. The ice shards come in. They have the cyclone. They might be able to get two out of this from BGJ Thunder. There's the one. Can they get the second? They've dropped Roger to the ground with the dispel magic. The cyclone is now done. The auto attacks are there. They've got the fire panda Imlet. He will use the snowball to save his life for the Where's moment, but I don't think it's going to be that much longer. Roger still level five. The split is done with a stomp will hit. They should have a clap ready to go. He's actually out of mana, but he has to charges to use it. Roger will try for the TP. I don't think it's going to be in time. Look at the damage from Fade. It just slaps him down with a. Trying to find the Luna in the jungle. Get her while she's farming. They've even smoked up. They're going to try to find this kill with Roger. The snowball will come in. Siler getting chased on the kinetic field. They have the glimpse. They've got the static storm. This should be a kill. They have the Omni Slash. The Nightmare comes in. Maybe not. They'll turn this around. The Omni Slash going with the spin. The Ice Shirts actually hurts them. They've got the Fiend Group. They're turning it around. And now they might want to try to fight this with Freeze teeping in. The Lucid Beam. The Eclipse is there. And Ramses is dead. A big turn for BGK Thunder. Wow. They all grouped up. The Ice Shirts actually hurts for it is pro. What a fight for them. What a turnaround. The sleep lost so much time, even in the Static Storm, dodging out the attacks. It's very nice. No one will find the kill in the mid lane, though, on the top network spot in this game. That's very unexpected, being able to die to a solo gyrocopter like that. And they're gonna get another one potentially. They've got the homie missile. It changes direction mid flight. They get off the nightmare. The rock barrage is still going. The brain sap makes EDC rather thank you. The thunderstrike and another rock barrage will go though, and that will secure yet another kill for no one in this. Ramses is up close though. He might get caught. I think he spotted them. He's going to back up to the high ground. They have a, they're sitting on the dire ward here, so they spot no one. So fighting into this for BGJ Thunder is kind of tough. They found the static storm. They need the omni slash. They need the spin, and they will get it off. He gets the uh, the nightmare, and he actually just survives. The split comes in now. The earth splitter doing support. They've got the Fiend from Ramses is going in, but DDC gets by hit by a homing missile, and now DDC is actually in trouble. The Rocket Barrage, the Black Kitten, they're still turning this, even with the Bruce, but it's two dead on the side of each Jay Thunder, and now they've caught out the Earth Panda. They just need to take it down. That's all they need to do, but they will just take down the Brewmaster instead as he comes back into his normal form. Which had his Blink Tagger. He's about to buy it right now, I believe, for Pasha. Yep, and with no split now, DP smoking up into the bottom lane, trying to catch uh, Luna, especially with Pasha. DDC was in biz, but they'll find Siler to toss Avalanche combo. They blow him up immediately. They're looking for more on to fade. They have no homing missile available for the rocket barrage and they are able to chase it down look at that damage and no one on a mega kill streak now they can gank they can set up plays dp are so good at placing these deep wards every game it feels like they have four wards on the enemy side of the map so they can keep making plays just like this this glimpse is actually a little bit awkward though they didn't they wanted to go for the toss ava combo they couldn't quite find it yang still doesn't have the bruise but he'll try for the clap but i don't know if that's going to save his life the homing missile comes in the thunder strike they just need one more auto attack and they will find it from no one and that's the end dead yet. Can't actually dodge this hero very well just because of the extremely long catch range on the glimpse. It helps you extend this lead even further. And they're trying to find more with it as well, except this time it's just the tiny and the, the tusk, and that's really all they need. The struck play, right? It's the buddy system. They're all sitting together, farming the same jungle camp, just sitting around while VP can spread and divide. Conquer the entire map instead of just a small portion of it. Farm the enemy jungle even as well. Kinetic field, the glimpse back. Doesn't really work out, but they do have the ice shards. The call down coming to stomp is going to be there, but it will not hit on no one. Good nightmare save, but the call down is still going. They've got the stun up, they've got the rocket barrage. They need one more auto attack, and they will find it. Pasha, the Eclipse coming in, not doing that much nice damage. So the snowball guy. save is there in time, and the Walrus Punch coming in on the other side. They will find DDC. Now Siler trying to bring down Pasha would be a big kill for him if he could. The toss is there, the ice shards. He's still alive! He will get dropped down to the backside, I believe, by the third panda, but he will find deep. another target that's going to be freeze down. The PL is dead. The game, especially with the Eclipse, but they just can't find it. They and were so close to getting Pasha, too. Yes, they were. But even if they kill Pasha, it's still not actually a one team fight, right? It's a nice consolation. Prize if they manage to find the time. They have to fight based around this Eclipse. They have to fight based around this PL. They've got the Glimpse back. They found the Nightmare for DDC to keep him alive. The Thunderstrike will take off the Raindrop. Posh is coming in. A little bit too slow. The Glimpse was already used, so he should be okay. But there's Posh flicking. Maybe not. Wow, he actually just destroys him. The Static Storm coming out just to make sure Freeze can't go to work on the Posh. Posh is fine. They get the Aegis along with the kill, and maybe now a tier 3 tower push or slow siege here. And another Glimpse from Solo, but he's okay. Doppelganger's at the right time for Freeze to get him back to safety, so. He will be okay. The PL disruptor matchup is so hot. Oh, BKB. No one is just popping the BKB. He is in the rocket barrage. Silar can do nothing. He is dead for fist to Bruce split now. That'll be down. 
but it does at least bridge the gap between the Luna respawning. But they might even lose this Brewmaster if they're not careful. It's only the Earth Panda now alive. Possibly oh, the looking shards. for free. They've got the shards. Brewmaster in trouble. The Walrus Punch keeping it vague. Oh and they actually get the kill through the split for Burden Pro. The Earth Splitter comes in, but it's too little, too late. They'll kill the illusions. They can continue to see. They still have the Aegis to work with with Burden Pro. This tier three tower will fall. There's no glyph available. There's no brute split. This Luna has Eclipse, but how much will that do? Rogers in deep. They've got the Lucent Beam. They've got the Fiend Grip, so they will get at least one kill. It might be time to back of your Virtus Pro. The Nightmare coming in. That's the sleep. They want the Rex. I don't know if they want to go. Pasha has the Blink Dagger at the ready, though, to try to find accommodation on somebody with Toss Avalanche. Ramsey's getting attacked by Siler. A lot of damage being done. He's going to spin and try to finish off the Rex. He will do so. The building down bottom has been taken care of. Ramsey's getting low, but he keeps the Aegis alive. The BKB forced by no one. Breeze was thinking about chasing him to the high ground. Now decides against it. Up in the right direction, but it's really going to be that next item afterwards that is the big deal maker. Without the BKB, he just gets run down, like we've seen already by no one. They'll find another target that's DDC. He gets the TP off, but the Glimpse comes back in at time, and no one is now godlike. Like came of it, other than they slow down the tower C for, for this Radiant team. Yep, and Rams is just getting earned up too, so he'll be ready to go back in and fight. Black Cannon will go. They're looking for accommodation for Pasha. They get the sleep off onto no one. Now Yang's gonna jump back and he pops the BKB. The Stomp hits onto this uh, Juggernaut, but they're pushing it back with the Black Cannon so much that Silo and DDC are almost dead. They have to go back to the well. Means they can't defend this building. It's going to get dropped down the barracks in trouble. Roger might die again, but the Snowball comes in. Siler's still super low. He should survive. He has to heal up, but that's the top rack's gone. Invertus Pro. They're still in a really good position. They will find maybe Fade. Ramses is looking for that Omni Slash. Fade is pretty speedy. Silar might be the bigger target. He has his BKB. The Omni Slash will come through. He's got the Battle Fury. That's just a dead Elder Titan. He doesn't care that didn't bounce. No one's just pushing the Tier 3. Yup, and VGJ Thunder. They need to respond. This is it. This is their last set of buildings. You know, with no ET, they have, I guess, no real base defense, right? Look at this. Roger, the BKB is popped for Salar, but he's already at half HP. The Glaives are coming in. Roger will snowball in time to save his life, but the Bruce Foot is there. The one more auto attack for no one to get Salar. He gets the kill. He'll have to buy back with no BKB available. Freeze is getting low. No one is just running at the enemy team. They'll get another one. Freeze down for 57 seconds. They get off the feast, but the toss to cancel it by Pasha. Backing everybody up. They can't even get the Gyrocopter. Maybe they get the Tiny out of this, but he's so tanky. He's got the status resistance to fall back on. GG. Is called Furnace Pro Route BTJ Thunder in the first game of this best of five final drag. My god, dominance asserted in the first game, but and this is up against Salar's Luna. We've seen his Luna go off every every game.